I've returned back to solitude. It's been a harrowing through few days. Churchill has gone back to the uh, Bard's College and I'm traveling alone at the moment. But I'm here after sleeping most of the day to join Brother Ickard in getting to the bottom of this haunted museum. I figured I should do this alone. It seems like more of a job for an Archmage. Brother Ickard? I'm ready to go. Excellent. Let's see what we can discover. I'll have a look around the main hall while you investigate the library. Look for anything you think is out of place. Alright, very well. I do think I should change into something a little bit more professional. Let deception vanish within this mystic space. Let Zoltan in his wisdom reveal his true form and his face. There. I figured I might as well look the part of the Archmage. It might give me a little bit more clout with these ghosts. I think I forgot where he told me I'm supposed to look. Okay, he wants me to check out the library. I mean, the only clues I see around here are piles of books. Was I supposed to see something? It's like the, the ghost is stirring up a commotion in here. But why? Oh, Orion has a lot of notes around here. a marker. Looks like it's up another flight. There's a note under here, but I can't get to it. Here. It's a letter. Okay. The 16th 
of Rain's Hand. Hello, my dearest. I hope this letter finds you well. I miss you greatly and can hardly wait to bring you here to solitude to show you what I have labored over for the past several months. It will be a place of greatness to be certain. I won't go into detail because I wish it to be a surprise when I'm able to bring you here. All I can say is that I miss you more with each passing day, but we must remain steadfast and patient. Soon my work will be complete and we'll be together again. It's signed Niles. Alright, I guess I need to show this letter to, um... Oh my goodness, you know I'm really bad with names. Whoever the priest of R.K. is that's down here. Ickard. Brother Ickard? Brother Ickard, I know you hear me. Don't walk away. Did you find anything? Yes, I found this letter. Ah, yes. This is a personal letter from Lord Macnarian to his wife. Niles Macnarian was the benefactor who paid for and oversaw the entire construction of this very building. It looks as if the seal was broken a long time ago, perhaps delivered and then recovered by the original sender. Whatever its fate, the letter seems to definitely have something to do with the ghostly presence here. Let's keep looking about, but do be careful. I think the spirit is starting to become agitated. Several weapons fell off the wall right behind me, and many of the dishes in the reception room hall flew off the tables and landed at my feet. I'm a bit tired at the moment, to be honest. Trying to attune my senses to an unknown specter has really taken its toll. I think I'm going to have a lie down in the staff barracks for a couple of hours. I suggest you use one of the other beds in there and get a little rest as well when you're satisfied. When I'm satisfied? Satisfied with what? I slept all day to prepare for this. Alright, well, it looks like I don't have much choice but to take a nap. No, oh, at least there's some privacy in here. Alright, that was a nice two-hour nap. Oh good, you're awake. You have to come see this. Oh yes, the mannequins seem to have come to life on their own and come down from the island because what? they're around the museum, while their compatriots have apparently barricaded themselves in the other side. What? But no, oh. this is actually what it was. Oh my was goodness. Shooting. I can't explain it beyond saying Look that there is something awry here. They are trying to get our attention. But what exactly they're trying to say is beyond me. Wait, Perhaps wait for me, where'd you go? Check out oh. the stacks under the curator's office and look in the wine cellar. I'll check out the Daedric Galleries in the Hall of Lost Empires for clues. Alright, he said the wine cellar. I know that's right here. I'm starting to think I should have taken someone with me. What? Now who would have stacked up these bottles like this? Does it mean anything that there are like three of these stacked like Christmas trees? And yes, there is Christmas in Skyrim, before any of you ask. Hmm, this is empty. know all this wine was down here. I think I'm going to have to spend more time. In fact, I could use a drink. This is, this is really getting on my nerves and wearing them down. It's one thing when you can see a ghost. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, well, all these bottles are empty. Well, I'd say that there's nothing else here. I'm going back upstairs. <gasps> oh, my God, is that a mannequin? 
It is. Wait. Oh my goodness, the the banquet table is on the ceiling. All right, where where am I supposed to go now? All right. According to my notes here, we had a short nap, and when we awoke, the haunting of the museum appears to be intensifying. Furniture on the ceiling, chandelier hanging from the floor, and mannequins walking on their own. I should investigate the Hall of Natural Science, and I've been in the wine cellar and the book stacks. I don't really know what the book stacks are. Unless he means that big stack of books that went up several stories in the building anyway. Let me see if I can find this hall of natural science. I've never been in it. Well, this is Lost Empires. I've never had a reason to go into the hall. Wait a minute, what's this? This display wasn't here. Oh, oh my goodness. At least these aren't violent. The Daedric Exhibit Hall? Why would there be clues in here? I don't think this is the right place. Brother Ickard, is that you? Did you find anything? No, what about you? Look, you're just standing in here. Oh, I'm already frightened. I don't need you to add to it. Oh, here it is. The Mace of Molag Ball. It did make it in here. And Dawnbreaker. But I have one back at the College of Winterhold. So I recovered two of them. Alright, I'll keep looking. I can tell he's not going to help just standing around like that. Why is it I'm the one that has to do all the work? Oh my goodness! A glass mannequin! Uh, okay. Culture and art? Here it is, the Gallery of Natural Science. It's flooded! never been in here. Oh no, spiders? I hope Orion isn't keeping them in here. And what's this? An old journal. Progress on the new temple is moving along quite well. Labor issues are minimal, but supply problems plague me at every turn. You wouldn't think that quarrying stone could be any harder in the frozen north than anywhere else in Tamriel. But the hardened ground is, in fact, making it difficult to pry the larger stones free for breaking them down into blocks. We've exhausted most of the avenues here, and are having some stone brought in from Markarth. Though it will take some time, we did uncover a nice deposit of marble. Though not substantial enough for construction, but I will save it for a statue, perhaps. The statue of Talos is completed already, so perhaps I can use the marble for a gift, 
or dedication of the building. I'm told that the building will be named for us and called McNarian Hall. A painting was commissioned, and as much as I hate sitting still for so long, I have obliged them, and a painting was made. It will be nice to have my portrait up to commemorate the great efforts here, but I have other plans of commemorating the achievement. Okay. I guess I need to show this to Eckerd too. Well, I guess this is a nice exhibit area if everything wasn't flooded. And I saw some fish. It's a good thing they weren't slaughter fish. That's the last thing I need. seeing these mannequins. Oh, here he comes. All right, Brother Ickard. Did you find anything? Brother Ickard, wait! I found this journal. Interesting. Well, it's clear that what we're dealing with is the disquieted spirit of Lord McNarion himself, though I'm not exactly sure why he would be upset. The hall was always named for him prior to being a museum. Perhaps he feels... forgotten? That is a distinct possibility. The journal makes mention of a painting of him that was commissioned. Do you recall ever seeing such a painting hanging in the museum? No, not that I recall. In fact, the paintings that are hanging in the museum are those that I found while exploring and adventuring in Skyrim. Maybe you should have a look around the museum and see if you can find if it's been stashed away anywhere. I believe that if we could find it and put it prominently on display, it would appease the ghost and he would stop harassing people. Okay, I'll take a look around. Excellent. Why am I hearing fire? This little thing here? <laughs> Be nice if there was a clue of some kind. All right, been here. I'm sure I'm walking in circles at this point. Definitely. Hmm. is turning. What on earth? What's going on in here? Is there something you want me to see?
Now, why would these pages be spinning? There really must be something that the ghost wants me to see. Okay. Get over there. Here, the armory. Hmm, the storeroom. I've never been in here. Wow, a book of relics. Oh, here, look. The Magnarian portrait. All right, let's find Ickard. Brother Ickert, it's good to see you moving you around. Anything? Yes, hold still. I found the painting. You did? That's superb. Let's hang it up in the reception hall. Um, is the reception hall where all the food is? Okay. Here, maybe? Yes. Great. Now I think it's best we get some rest. By morning, I suspect that all this unpleasantness will be over. But just to be sure, we should sleep it out here just to make sure that there's nothing else the spirit is looking for. Really? I mean, couldn't I just go to my own quarters and sleep? I mean, this place is haunted. Why would you sleep in... Anyway, I'm going to sleep. <gasps> oh, it's this... It's the same one from before. All right, let's get some rest, and hopefully when I wake up, this will all be a nightmare. It's over. Oh. Wait, what's wrong? This looks like blood and... Oh, what? Oh my goodness! The building's on fire! Word from High Rock has come that Lady Oriella McNarian was found dead on the fourth of Evening Star following a tragic fire that broke out in the east wing of the McNarian estate. The magistrate of Wayrest has investigated, but the cause of the fire has not been released to the public, though they say foul play has not been ruled out. Lady Aurelia was the wife of wealthy philanthropist. <laughs> oh, 
I'm, I'm so stressed out I can hardly read. Lord Niles McNarian, who was best known for his work in building and establishing various temples dedicated to the Nine Divines all across Tamriel. His recent work has taken him to Skyrim, where he has been hard at work overseeing the construction of a new temple to Talos based in solitude. The news of his dear wife's demise came as quite a shock to him, and an ill-fated night of drunken mourning, he either stumbled or threw himself off the cliffs of the building site into the sea far below the Arch of Solitude. His body was unfortunately never found. The project, however, saw itself through to its completion a few weeks later, and the new temple was dedicated and named Macnarian Hall in their memory. Let me get out of here. But something is moving. What on earth? What, what, what am I supposed to do here? Another clue. This looks like a clue. All right, I'm opening the door. <gasps> what? What is this? What's in here? It's something evil. I feel it. All right, the... <gasps> a skeleton? What? Look at all the blood. these skeletons Sort of a ritual took place here. <gasps> what on earth? I mean, what on Nern? What the ghost plate? I've been looking all over for this. Anyway. Look at all these masks. I didn't collect these. All right, I'm supposed to be looking for clues. There's a journal here. I received news today of my dear Oriella's death. How can the divines treat me so? Have I not toiled tirelessly to use my fortunes and my skills to glorify their names? Am I deserving of such blatant disregard and malice? I just cannot bear this pain. Even as I write these words, I know that my heart died with you, my dear wife. I will press onward, th though somehow, and finish this building and dedicate it to you as it is my most beautiful work befitting of you and will be my last. I just had the commission drawn up yesterday for a marble statue to be built in your likeness and came to agreement with the sculptor paying the deposit to start the work and had not the chance to deliver the official agreement and balance owed, but it seems now that he will, that it will be a memorial of you rather than a tribute. Oh, how I wanted you to see this place and to see your statue adorn the entrance. All I can hope now is that you'll gaze down upon me from the seat of the divines and smile. I suppose a drink is in order to drown my sorrow and perhaps the cold air and a walk out back will aid to clear my thoughts. Then I will deliver the commission. Agreement and payment first thing in the morning. 
you getting that? Oh no, what's happening? <gasps> what? Brother Ickard? Brother Ickard, is that you? Oh good, you're awake. What? Are you alright, my friend? No, I'm when I not! Woke up, you were gone from the barracks room and lying unconscious out here on the floor. What? Oh, I, I had a... It must have... Oh, the table is behind you is upset. Nothing is... I'm sorry, I've had a terrible nightmare. Well, I should say so, and it's had a good solid hold on you to be sure. I suspect it was no mere nightmare, but Macnarian himself. Well, he's very deranged and disturbed. The feelings and thoughts of the dead often come to the living and is very disturbed. We believe it's only because they lack the means to fully make their wills known. Did, did you discover anything? Um, oddly enough, the things I found are very much real. This is terrible. I had heard that Lord Macnarian had met a rather unfortunate end after his wife passed away, but I did not know the circumstances until now. And by the looks of this journal, he was in great grief right before his death, and must have plummeted to his death from the hot springs out back. If you're up to it, I'd suggest looking around for any clues. I seriously doubt that there'll be any out there, as this all happened decades ago, but you never know. And our work is obviously not finished with the placing of the painting. Alright, here I go. I thought I, thought I saw something for a minute. These archmage robes didn't do any good. I've been haunted just as though I was any ordinary citizen. So, the hot springs, what am I looking for? Did, he, did they say he jumped? My goodness. Oh, that's quite a drop. Wait, what's this? This is the contract. Burgess Olfstead of Hoffengar agrees to sculpt one life-size statue in the likeness of Lady Oriella Macnarian using the a provided oil painting as reference and hewn from natural marble provided by the patron Niles Macnarian for the sum of 8,000 septums. The amount of 4,000 septums has been paid in advance with the rest payable prior to delivery of the work. So where is the statue? Let me see if I can find, uh, Brother Ickard. Alright, Ickard. I found something. I found this outside. Simply amazing to think that this small bit of animal parchment has been wedged between two rocks dangling from the cliffs out there all this time being ravaged by the winds and the rain and the snow year after year and it still persisted. Perhaps it was the will of Niles Macnarian that preserved it so he might take action on it. Hmm. Burgess Ulfstead, is it? I do recall an Ulfstead by the name of Morgane, who is a stonecutter. He lives down by Catless Farm, if I recall. He may know something about this contract. I'd take it to him and see what you can find out about what happened to the statue's great-great-grandfather card. Really? And you're just gonna stand there while I have to go to Catless Farm. All right, here I go. I mean, he could have at least come with me. All right, where do I need to look? Hello, guard. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. I'm not just a wizard, I'm the Archmage.
Hello. Hello, sir. Can I help you with something? Do you know anything about this contract? Contract? What's this? Oh dear, this is my great-great-grandfather's name. He was a sculptor and a stone cutter by trade. Passed down through the family to me as well. So after three generations, are you finally here to make good on this and collect the statue? Wait! You mean the statue is here? Well, yes. It's been gathering dust in our cellar for ages. None of us had the art to sell it since great-great-grandfather apparently didn't feel right about selling it because it was half paid for already. Well, I have the other half. Four thousand septums. Could I have it brought to the museum? Absolutely. I'll get some hands and we'll cart it on up there by tomorrow. Well, thank you. Finally, some good news. Wait, is this Dr. Bombay? It is Dr. Bombay. What are you doing here? All right, let me get back. It says check in tomorrow. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll travel around a little bit and arrive back here tomorrow. Well, my friend, it seems that did the trick. It hasn't exactly removed the spirit per se, but it certainly has appeased him. I found last night that the spirit of Niles and Aurelia were both wandering the halls of the museum, admiring the displays and taking in the splendor of the building Niles worked so hard on, and they seemed quite content. You may see them from time to time in the late hours of the night, but I wouldn't expect any further problem from him. Well, all right, Brother Ickard. Thank you for your help. Not at all. Only doing the good work of our cake and ensuring that the departed get the rest they deserve when those left behind in life can manage to sleep as well. I'll be off now. Take care, my friend. And you too. So, this is the statue. Very nice. Now I think it's about time I get back to the business of helping others. <laughs>